drum and rally all wrapped up. From the Drummond Rally site in Drummond, near the school, we rode across some wonderful countryside to a little place called Tuatapere in Southland, where we'll find the New Zealand famous sausages. A number of flavours available. I chose some. You have to watch on and find out what I chose and whether I thought anything of them. Had a little bite to eat for breakfast here. It's a great wee town and well worth a wee stop here. Got some groceries as well, a couple of beers, extra food to add to our little stash to sustain us for an overnight camp. To a Tarpery to the Clifton Bridge. It's an old suspension bridge. Let's go and check it out. The Clifton Bridge is a place you've got to come visit, man. It's a great bridge built back in 1899. It was used for horse and cart traffic. Uh, 130 metres down the road, a new bridge was built, and that one was mainly built because of the Manapuri uh, project for the power station, so they really needed that. But it's an incredible look at this old bridge and really see how much went into building such a structure where, where the technology of today was so much less advanced. From the Clifton Suspension Bridge, it was time to find our dock camping ground. Where are we staying tonight? I think I said earlier anyway. We are heading up to Lake Monowai. And Lake Monowai is a lake, obviously. It was a lake that was a little bit lower in its height and it was raised hence why there are trees located around that are dead stumps and the lake was raised so that they could generate power. I'm on away. Just there's a bit of rain in the hills so I thought I'd stop and put the wet gear on and uh, we're about 14 k's or so to go with a 8 k's of that as gravel but that's no, that's no troubles. We're away again. Hopefully it doesn't rain too much. We managed to find ourselves this wicked, awesome spot in the trees at Lake Monowai with an area set up already for having a fire, just a matter of finding ourselves to pitch a tent. We took a walk through quite sparse forests out to a point which was really amazing to look at and see the pending rain that was going to come and hit us. Hopefully it's not going to be too much. This is Lake Monoway. Very quiet and peaceful. Sand flies haven't bothered us too much so far. There's still time. A little bit of drizzle, no big drama there. But we found a camp in trees. Just through there. Now we'll be here for the night before we head to the Mavora Lakes. So beautiful, beautiful spot. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that's quite good. <laughs> Sometimes you've got to use some Kiwi ingenuity. Oh, I have to get in now. Only 
get over it. Oh, yeah, it's just fine. Right, late one away. I thought about one of those. Yeah, time for a beer beside the fire. <laughs> Cheers. Tonight on the menu is roast beef and mustard made into a tarpery at the Tui base camp. 558 grams of meat deliciousness. These two tarpery gourmet sausages, they've got some cotton noodles, surprise minted tea. So dry, and it's healthy as hell. Four stars out of five. Continental peas just before we partake in the cooking experience of the peas. Six fried tomatoes. Plating up the peas. Right. So there we go. We've got uh, <laughs> half a tomato, some surprise peas that surprisingly did puff up real deliciously looking, and the um, mustard. Um, Beef sausage. Let's eat it. These are very um, good sausage. Let's see how surprising these peas are. Delicious. Damn, I'm serious. Those sausages are delicious. To a tarpery, way to go. Time to sit back, relax, and enjoy a fire. The power station downstream that this lake feeds through these gates is the South Island's oldest hydroelectric station and it was opened back in 1925. This morning's breakfast, some leftover uh, beef and mustard sausages. And under this pot here, we'll do the reveal. It's like a fancy restaurant. Egg. Not that fancy. So it's time for a happy, happy little breakfast. He ain't gonna get this meal at McDonald's. Or with this view. So we took a wee climb to the top of this hill from down there. Might be able to see through the trees where we camp. Down by the lake, which was a really nice place. 
great to be able to have the fire we had just over there and I decided I'd take a wee walk to the top of this wee hill just for a bit of a, a look it's a very peaceful forest not a lot of bird and song but the robins are very inquisitive very cool to see the robins uh, feeding the, the baby birds today we're heading to Lake the Mavora Lakes, so there's multiple lakes. Apparently, the sand flies are big, big there. So we'll see what we'll see how that pans out. But head, let's head back down the hill and um, look forward to getting back onto the road again and riding a few more kilometres. We go past Lake um, Manapuri, which is a significant power station for the country, and uh, well refill the bike and so on and I think I'll do something get some food for tonight's camp stunning yeah a lot of that forest over there would probably be hardly explored it looks like, looks like quite a few boats get out with a boat left here this morning probably gone out for a fish or some, just go for some exploring and stuff it's places like this that really take the stress away or free your mind in a way from all the other stuff that goes on which is good just a good refresh <laughs> So it was great now to leave and go to our next destination. We explored a little bit, checked out some of where the river goes from the lake after those gates. Fantastic southern scenery to ride through down here. There's a sparseness, there's the mountainous, really nice peaceful riding. and with the expectations that we were going to buy our food supplies and all that sort of stuff we then found that Lake Manapuri does not really have a supermarket or anything like that so it was time to head through to Tiana where there is a supermarket and we can grab all those things that we need Again, really like to thank you heaps for coming along and watching this journey and hope that uh, you might be enjoying it and if you are that's fantastic thank you look forward to sharing the next part of this little adventure which so far we are absolutely loving <laughs>